By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we have a very small little video where I'd like to show you uh, a mail day because he just got these two letters. I believe they contain magic cards. So let's check it out and I can show you what I've been ordering. And um, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> it's in a Theros booster pack. Let's see what's in here. We can open it up. And there we go. Curious here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is just a little thing to protect the cards. And here are the actual cards themselves. So this is uh, Arena, which is one of those special promo cards. And uh, it's a land. And for three and tap, choose one of your creatures and have your opponent choose one of his or her creatures. Both target creatures become tapped. And your creature does... It's power and damage to your opponent's creature, and your opponent's creature does its power and damage to yours. So this is actually the first uh, fight card in Magic the Gathering. So now we know that mechanic called Fight. I believe it's called Fight. But please correct me if I'm wrong. So I've ordered actually two of these uh, because I want to combine them with Orc. So maybe you know Orc. Um, you know what? I'll make sure there is an Orc right now showing on the screen so you know what card I'm talking about. So this 6-6 six, six powerhouse... Uh, I'd like to combine it with Arena, obviously, so that it can fight against the um, the creatures that my opponent has with a power of four and greater to get those out of the way and then like stampede in with my trample orcs. So that's my big master plan. And then this was actually my initial reason for, for buying. Um, and then I checked out what other cards he had and I saw that this card, Venerian Gold, he had it in his collection. It was uh, pretty cheap to pick up. Two blue and X, it's an enchant creature from Legends, and look at that art. Right? I mean, just beautiful art. That sleeping bear, and you've got this, yeah, person, I guess magician, putting some gold dust there in the ear. And of course, that's, it's not dust, of course, that's the Venerian gold. Duh. <laughs> beautiful art. Let's see who the artist is, Daniel Gallon. And uh, let's read the card, because it's quite an interesting card. Put X counters on target creature, and target creature becomes tapped when Venerian Gold is cast. Creature does not untap as normal uh, if it has any of these counters on it. Remove one counter during creature's players, uh, during creature's controller's upkeep phase. So what I find really interesting about this card is not really the, the X and that it then stays tapped for multiple turns, that could be useful late game, but what I'm really interested in is the fact that it's an enchant creature and it taps the creature. Now, obviously, you also have Twiddle for one blue and it's an instant, but I just find that kind of interesting. Um, it doesn't work, for example, like Mercy, where the creature already has to be tapped. So this this taps the creature. That's quite interesting for an enchant creature to do that. Now, the other card that I have is exactly here. You see it already, Giant Slug. And this is for a uh, black and a colorless uh, summon slug. And like all these old cards, it's got a lot of text. So let's see what it does. We have to pay five. It's a one one, by the way. We have to pay five. And what, what's gonna happen for five mana? You're pumping in five, five mana into this giant slug, which is, this is one of those cards art wise that you're so surprised. It looks huge. It's attacking this like small little tiny soldier and soldiers are usually one ones. So you'd figure out that this giant slug would be much, much bigger than just one power and one toughness. And then you're paying five for something to happen. So assuming on the when I'm looking at the art, I used to think, okay, I'm gonna pay five and my slug will become a giant slug. So maybe get, I don't know, plus four, plus four or something. But what actually happens is during controller's next upkeep, giant slug gains a landwalk ability of controller's choice until end of turn. The type of land walk chosen must be cor uh, correspond with one of the five basic land types. So, I mean, it is a very interesting ability and I actually think, that's why I ordered the cards, it's only a few cents. I actually think this card could kind of work in, in, in some kind of strange brew and I'm sure people have brewed with this card before. You know, five mana is steep and it's only a one-one, so 
And again, that art, I mean, I think it's really cool art, but why is the slug so big if it's only one one? It's very strange. Who is the artist anyway? Anson Maddox. Yeah. So that's it um, for this specific mail day. So we've got these four cards. Let's see what's in the other envelope. So here we go, let's um, open it up. I just wanna make sure that I don't cut through the cards. You know, that's always kind of a nightmare. Let me know if you've ever done that, by the way. Have you ever opened up a package and then just cut through the cards? Has that happened to you? I don't think it has happened to me. Gag, look, this is in a sleeve, and look at this. Let's, let's get it out. Let's free it. This was one of the Dutch players that I played. I'm just gonna go off camera for a second. The, one of the Dutch players that I played with said, I was actually selling this and I couldn't pass it uh, because of a few reasons. Now, um, this is really a beat up IC manipulator. Let me take it out of the sleeve to show you. There we go. This is the IC manipulator. Look at it. Look at all the damage. Look at it. And obviously it was priced accordingly. Look at that. But it's still, no matter what, it's still a beta IC. And how cool is that? And it's signed here by Douglas Schuller. And let's look at the back. Here we see. Look at that. I mean, this is one of these cards where I can imagine they actually played it on the curb, on the street, just on tables, just without a sleeve. That's how people used to play. And that's, you know, in my early days when I just started Magic, uh, I used to play sleeveless as well, simply because there weren't any sleeves yet. Look at that. Look at that. Maybe that's why the old card quality is simply better because it was made as a game that you would play without sleeves. I mean, I'm not sure if that's true, but it does make sense. It's just beautiful. And this is, I for me, this is IC Manipulator number four. I have three unlimited ones and I usually just play with max of three of these in a deck. But it's always nice to complete a play set. And then I saw this opportunity to get this, this beta IC manipulator. And I've also been working on a singleton deck where I thought, you know, a one-off, one beta IC manipulator would really, really fit into that, that deck. And um, you probably recognize this, right? Where you always find an excuse to buy another card. I don't know. <laughs> I, think, I think that's something a lot of old school Magic players have or just Magic players in general. Yeah. I already have three of them. I never play more than three, but still I need to get this. But it's really nice, really cool. Okay, so um, this was it. This was my mail day, just a short video. Let me know if you like these videos because I can share some of my mail days more often. Um, and that's it for now. So thank you for watching Timmy Talks. If you'd like to support the channel, um, you can do so by liking this video, sharing this on your socials, leaving a comment, always appreciate it. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. And of course, you can support us on Patreon because we do have, and I should say, say I, I'm not sure why I'm uh, referring to myself in the we. Is that healthy to do that? I don't think so. So I, I have a Patreon page and there you can support the show, Timmy Talks. If you want to do so, uh, feel free to click on the info card that's appearing right now. Talking about patrons, let's go to the end scroll. Let's take a look at the patrons of Timmy Talks.
Ik het als fikker te samba gezien.